So do we geography, hope you are feeling well. Today we are moving on to population growth, world population development. Let's look on the next slide. World population as defined is a change over time when it comes to population. There are more than twice as many people on Earth today. Exponential growth. I want you to remember this term. As defined, it is a rapid growth over a short period of time. Let's look at the demographic transition model. Let's break down the heading to understand what is required from this graph. Demographic deals with birth rate and death rate of population. Transition means that it is a change. So in essence, transition or demographic transition model represents a change in population over time. This model can also be called population cycle. Let's look at the stages that we have presented to you. Stage one is called the pre-modern stage. In this stage, we can say high stationary phase, birth rate and death rate are high. This is due to factors such as war, famine and disease. Birth rate is high due to a lack of birth control and because children are regarded as important status symbols and labor units. Death rates are high due to disease, plagues, Famine, poor diet, poor hygiene, and the absence of medical expenses. Therefore, you can see the birth rate and the death rate. The waves are the highest, or as we say, it is at the peak. Let's look at stage two. Early expanding phase. Here we have urbanizing and industrializing. Birth rate remains high and death rate starts to drop as illustrated to you. The birth rate is blue, the death rate is red. Death rate starts to drop because of the following factors. Improved medical services, better diet, better services and infrastructure and fewer walls. Total population starts to grow. We call this population explosion. Let's look at stage three. This stage is also known as the mature industrial. Late expanding phase, death rate stabilizes at a lower level and birth rate continues to drop due to increasing urbanization and industrialization. Total population starts to level out as the population growth rate decreases. Let's look at the fourth stage, which is the post-industrial. Low stationary phase, birth rate and death rate have stabilized. If you look at the blue line and the red line, they are meeting, so they are showing stabilization. Total population remains stationary. If birth rate drop, drops below death rate, there is a negative growth in population. There is also a fifth phase which is not illustrated. We call this the declining phase. Geographers suggest that the demographic transition model in economically developed countries such as Germany and Japan, birth rate have begun to fall below death rate, leading to a decline in population. Let's move on to the next slide. Sustainable development. Current generations meeting their needs without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their needs. What is sustainable development? We at the present moment should not exhaust natural resources such as water, 
such as coal, leading to load shedding. If we use up all of these natural resources, what will our next generation have? And what will their next generation have? Let's look at what the implications are. Future generation have rights over resources. Current generation has a duty to improve future generation needs in its decision making. So we have to decide whether we want to use all the natural resources now and have nothing in the future for our kids and grandkids. Let's move on to the next slide. The big question that I want you as homework to research is how many people can our planet support? That's a research question for you. When you arrive back to school, we will go through this thoroughly. Let's move on to the next slide, which is parent capacity. I want you to also learn this term off. Current capacity is the number of people and area, which is obviously our planet, which is Earth, can support on a sustainable basis, given the available space, resources, and available technology. Another research question that I want you to go home, conclude as homework is the carrying capacity of the Earth is limited. That's a question that we need to do research on. Is our Earth overpopulated as explained in the previous slide that I presented? We will be moving on to population movement. Thank you for the lesson. 